The PlayStation 5 has dominated gaming since its launch in 2020. But with whispers of a PS5 Pro on the horizon, many are left wondering, should you upgrade? Is the Pro version a true game changer, or is it just another expensive mid-gen refresh? Stick around because we're diving deep into the numbers, features, and real-world implications of both consoles. Let's find out if the PS5 Pro is worth every penny, or if your current PS5 can still handle everything the future of gaming throws at it. A look back at the PS5's legacy. Before we get into the upcoming PS5 Pro, let's quickly appreciate what the PS5 has already done. When it hit the market in November 2020, it sold over 4.5 million units in just six weeks. Fast forward to today, and Sony has moved a staggering over 40 million PS5 consoles globally. It's clear. The PS5 is a powerhouse, with its 8-core AMD Ryzen CPU and a GPU capable of 10.28 teraflops. Games load faster thanks to its custom SSD, and it supports ray tracing, 4K resolution, and frame rates up to 120 FPS. So, what does the PS5 Pro bring to the table that makes it worth an upgrade? PS5 Pro. What's new? The PS5 Pro isn't just about minor tweaks, it promises to push the boundaries further. First, let's talk specs. Rumors suggest that the PS5 Pro will feature a 12 to 14 teraflop GPU, significantly more powerful than the base PS5's 10.28 teraflops. While that might not sound like a huge leap when it comes to gaming performance, even a few teraflops can make a noticeable difference, especially in areas like real-time ray tracing and 4K gaming at higher frame rates. But here's where things really start to heat up. 8K gaming. That's right, the PS5 Pro could be targeting 8K, with some developers already being prepped for this new benchmark. Even if you don't own an 8K TV right now, future-proofing your setup with the Pro might be smart. Another standout feature is the improved SSD capacity. The base PS5 ships with 825 GB of storage, which can feel limiting, especially with modern triple, A games taking up more than 100 GB per title. The PS5 Pro, however, could come with up to 2 terabyte SSD, and rumor has it with even faster load times. This is a massive upgrade for players who juggle multiple games at once without deleting titles to free up space. Game performance. Does it really matter? Now let's talk about how this extra power translates to the gaming experience. Right now, the PS5 handles 4K gaming beautifully, but developers are constantly pushing the limits of what these consoles can do. Upcoming titles like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Marvel's Spider-Man 2 are pushing the PS5 to its edge. With the PS5 Pro, we could see these same games running at a locked 60 frames per second in native 4K with enhanced ray tracing and overall smoother performance. The Pro model could also breathe new life into your PSVR 2. Virtual reality gaming demands a lot from the hardware, and the Pro's improved GPU and CPU could deliver more immersive, lag-free experiences. We're talking about less motion sickness and more immersion. Price. Is it worth it? One of the biggest hurdles for gamers considering the PS5 Pro is going to be its price. Reports suggest that the PS5 Pro might hit the market with a price tag of $699, around $200 more than the standard PS5. Now let's not forget, the PS5 is already priced at $499, making it a pretty big investment for gamers. But if you're a tech enthusiast who needs the latest and greatest, that $200 might be justifiable when you consider the performance upgrades, better graphics, and more future-proof features. However, this price bump isn't just about the hardware. It's about whether you're an early adopter of 8K, or if you're looking to optimize every game you play at the highest quality possible. The PS5 Pro is likely aimed at enthusiasts who prioritize top-tier performance over cost, while the base PS5 will continue to serve most gamers just fine. Is 8K gaming a realistic goal? One of the biggest talking points for the PS5 Pro is the promise of 8K gaming. But here's the thing. Right now, 8K TVs are still not mainstream. 
The average price of an 8K TV in the US is over $3,000, meaning only a fraction of gamers have the setup to support it. And even then, the gaming industry is still catching up. While Sony has marketed the PS5 with 8K capabilities, very few games truly push those limits. That raises the question, is the PS5 Pro's 8K potential really that useful today? For most gamers, probably not, at least not in the next couple of years. However, if you're thinking long term and you believe 8K will become the new standard, then the PS5 Pro might give you an edge in staying ahead of the curve. Game Library Are there Pro exclusive titles? One big question on every gamer's mind is whether the PS5 Pro will get exclusive titles that won't be available on the regular PS5. The short answer is no, at least not yet. Sony has confirmed that both the PS5 and PS5 Pro will share the same game library. However, the Pro's enhanced hardware means those games will run smoother, load faster, and look better on the Pro version. Think about it like this. Games like Cyberpunk 2077 had performance issues on the PS4, while they ran much better on the PS5. Expect a similar dynamic between the PS5 and PS5 Pro, where the Pro might handle the more graphically demanding titles without breaking a sweat. Longevity. Is the PS5 Pro future-proof? Here's where the debate gets interesting. The PS5 is less than four years old, and Sony's already introducing a mid-gen upgrade. Some gamers feel this is too soon. The lifespan of consoles like the PS4 and PS3 was around seven to eight years, which means the PS6 could still be years away. The PS5 Pro might be a way for Sony to bridge that gap, offering a high performance option for enthusiasts while keeping the base PS5 for more casual players. If you're someone who doesn't upgrade every generation, the PS5 Pro could be your ticket to extending your console's life well into the PS6 era expected to launch around 2028 or later. Verdict. To upgrade or not? So is the PS5 Pro a must-have upgrade or just overhyped? If you're the kind of gamer who craves cutting-edge performance, enhanced graphics, and future-proof features like 8K and higher storage capacity, then the PS5 Pro might be the perfect investment. But if you're a casual gamer who enjoys your current PS5 setup, there's no rush to make the switch. For most players, the base PS5 will continue to deliver stunning graphics, fast load times, and incredible games for years to come. However, if you're a tech enthusiast with a desire for the absolute best, the PS5 Pro might just be calling your name. Closing thoughts. Whether or not you decide to upgrade, it's clear that the gaming landscape is constantly evolving. The PS5 Pro will push new boundaries, but the real question is, are you ready to keep up? The choice is yours.